So let's take a look at an example of calculating an empirical formula. Previously, we've looked at this particular data set uh, where we have iron reacting with oxygen to form an iron oxide compound. Uh, we knew the mass of iron going in, that was 0.315 grams. We knew the mass of the compound formed, 0.406 grams. This allowed us to calculate the mass of oxygen which reacted with the iron. That was 0.091 grams. We're going to use all this information combined uh, to help us determine what is the ratio of this iron oxide compound. Going into the calculation, I want to remember information about nomenclature. I know that iron is a metal which can form either a positive 2 or a positive 3 charged ion. Uh, so I am guessing going into this calculation that I'm going to have iron 2 oxide, which would be FeO, or I could potentially have iron 3 oxide, which would be Fe2O3. Uh, so here's our strategy. We're going to set this up so that we can calculate the mole values of each element present um, in the compound. So we want to calculate number of moles of iron and we want to calculate number of moles of oxygen. So my next step here is that I would like to calculate the number of moles of each particular element present in this compound. So I want to calculate moles of iron and moles of oxygen. To do this, I'll need to know the molar masses of each element. How am I going to know that? I'm going to look it up on the periodic table. And when I uh, find iron on the periodic table, I see that its molar mass is 55.84. and the value for oxygen is 16.00. So I just finished calculating the mole values for each element present in this compound. I took the mass of iron present, 0.315 grams of iron, I divided that by 55.84 grams to calculate a mole amount of 0.00564. I've also calculated the number of moles of oxygen uh, to do that, I took the mass of oxygen, 0.091 grams, divided by the molar mass of 16 to come up with a value of 0.00569. Now I can see already where this is going. However, uh, sometimes the decimal values that we calculate uh, it may not be immediately clear what ratio we should be determining. Uh, so here's our strategy. We always want to identify the smaller of the two mole values. And I can see that 0.00564 is the smaller of the two. I'm going to divide that number by itself. I'm also going to divide the other mole amount by the smaller of the two. And this is going to help me to establish what is that ratio between the two elements. So now I've finished the final part of the calculation. I divided each mole value by the smaller of the two. Uh, so I get a number of 1 for the iron. So the oxygen number worked out to be 1.01. We're just going to round that off to 1. Uh, so we have a 1 to 1 ratio here. This means that I can write the empirical formula for this iron oxide compound as FeO. And again, a reminder to everybody that empirical formula, uh, what this is telling us is the whole number ratio of, in this case, ions that are combined in an ionic compound.